This is some uh, bok choy I just harvested out of the garden and I grow a lot of bok choy every year. The reason why I grow so much of it is it can be used as a replacement for any recipe that calls for cabbage. And if you don't grow bok choy, you probably should, even if you can't grow anything, you can probably grow bok choy. Bok choy is really simple to grow, and matter of fact, if you can't grow bok choy, you probably need to hang your gardening apron up and find some other hobby. The stuff grows like wild. Then when it starts to flower and it bolts, it'll produce thousands upon thousands of seeds Matter of fact, bok choy seeds, every one of those pods probably has 20 seeds in it. That's from one plant. You can see that. We hung that up as a decoration, but I probably collect 1,000 to 5,000 seeds from bok choy every year when it does bolt just because I like to have fresh seeds. But I always plant, um, I usually start out with around 20 plants, and then when they're about half gone, I plant another 20 plants, and I do that basically all year. I keep them covered up with a row cover, which does uh, reduce the amount of time that it takes them to, or increases the amount of time that it takes them to bolt. And then I basically will try to use bok choy in a recipe once or twice a week. But one of my favorite recipes is kind of a, um, it, it's a shrimp recipe. It's really easy to make. And that's what I'm gonna show you how to do in this recipe. I will list the ingredients below um, because sometimes I don't necessarily always have all of the ingredients, but I make it anyways. The ingredients are, you're going to need some bok choy, obviously. You are also going to need three tablespoons of whatever oil you like to use. I pretty much always use olive oil. You're going to want that divided. So one and a half tablespoons times two. You're going to need one and a half teaspoons of salt, also divided. You're going to need a half a teaspoon of red pepper flakes. Two tablespoons of honey, one tablespoon of soy sauce, one and a half pounds of large tail on shrimp that are peeled and deveined, one tablespoon of sesame oil, three quarter cups of rice of your choice. I generally use jasmine rice. Uh, Sarah got me addicted to that. Thank you, Sarah. Um, if you've got it, three quarter cups of kimchi. You're going to use, uh, you're going to need one scallion or one onion, don't matter which. And, uh, you could also use the lime wedges more as a, like, side. But I usually, if I got lime, I'll use it. If I don't have lime, I won't use it. So... First thing you're going to want to do, set your oven to 450 degrees. Once it gets the temperature, put your pans in there for about 5 or 10 minutes. You want your pans to be hot. So I'll bring you back after that's done. While the pans are heating up, I usually take that time to start cleaning up the bok choy of any dirt and bugs that might have come in from the garden. So go ahead and do that also. I'll bring you back in a minute. First thing you want to do, take your oil and, and the salt. I believe that was a half teaspoon. I don't remember. I just kind of estimate everything. I didn't measure the oil. I didn't measure the salt. The recipe calls for a measurement. I just don't use it. Then you're going to take your bok choy. You want to strip all of the individual stems and leaves off. But if there's any that are starting to bolt or that have flowers, leave them on there. Also, cut out any parts that are bad, that have been ate up by bugs. You'll be left over with some stems. I still got a lot more over here to go through. 
and uh, I'll probably end up using about a half of this so let me go ahead and get all this cleaned up you're basically going to toss the bok choy in your oil with your salt so this is what I'm left with that's what I disposed of and by the way you can eat bok choy raw and I don't have any teeth so, mmm, really, really good. Anyways, so we're going to put some more oil on this. Then I'm going to put it in a bigger bowl, and I'm going to toss it. And I'll show you how to do that in case you don't know. All right, so there's our bowl of bok choy. We got our oil in there. Again, I used olive oil and salt. You're going to cover the bowl up with a lid and then shake the crap out of it. What that does, coats all of your bok choy with the oil and the salt. We hope, right? Voila! Something like that. Once you have that done, so once you've got your bok choy covered in oil and salt, put the lid back on it, set it aside for a minute. Next, we're going to go back to our other bowl that also needs to have oil and salt in it. And actually, that's the smaller bowl I started with that was too small for the bok choy, but I'm just going to repurpose it and use it now for the shrimp. For the shrimp, you're also going to use salt and oil and a couple more ingredients you're going to need honey and red pepper also and I don't have either one of those ready yet because I'm rushing around here like a chicken with my head cut off so that would be half teaspoon of red pepper flakes two tablespoons of honey and also one tablespoon of soy sauce now, I usually never measure anything. If you watch any of my videos, sometimes I do. Most of the time, I don't. So, first, we need red pepper flakes. I don't remember how much it said I needed. So, I'm just going to guess. Something like that. You ever dig around in your cabinet and wonder why you have two full bottles or something? what I'm sitting here doing right now soy sauce don't remember how much that we needed probably something like that and then there was honey okay in this bowl we've got our oil our salt our soy sauce and our red cayenne pepper now we need our honey. Again, I don't never measure anything. I just kind of like estimate. Something like that. Next step you're going to do, you're going to put your... Make sure this is mixed up really good. Then you're going to put your shrimp in there and you're going to toss that with a lid on it. I'll bring you right back when I do that. All right. Add your shrimp to the bowl, just like that. Cover it up, just like we did the bok choy, give it a quick toss. Make sure all the pieces get coated well. Just like that. Now this next part is going to go really, really quick. You've got to add your shrimp to one pan. I'm using this one. You're going to stick that on the top oven shelf. Keep this bowl and lid because you're going to need it again in a minute. So this goes on the top shelf in your oven. Then your hot pan is where your bok choy goes. 
and it goes in the bottom shelf of the oven. And if it don't all fit in there, that's fine. Just fit what you can. You'll hear it sizzle. Something like that. I got it all in there. Now to get it back in the oven before it cools down. I'm going to use the knife I was using earlier to cut it with to kind of spread it out some. Back in the oven we go. This goes on the bottom shelf. Just like that. Bok choy on the bottom, shrimp on the top. Set a timer for about four minutes. After four minutes, we're going to take the shrimp out. After four minutes, we're going to take the shrimp out, put it back in the bowl that it was in, give it another toss, stick it back in the pan, stick it back in the oven. I'll bring you back at that part. Now don't forget, we're also fixing rice with this. Instead of me making it on the stove though, I'm going to make it in the microwave. I got a bowl, it's got about a cup and a half, two cups of water in it. I'm going to stick it in the microwave for five minutes on high. When the water's hot, I'm going to pull it out. I'm going to put one cup of rice in it, stick it back in the microwave and cook the rice. I just find that a lot easier than making it on the stove. That's the way I do it. You can cook rice however you want to cook it. As soon as your oven goes off, your timer for your shrimp at the four minute mark, pull the shrimp out, put it in the bowl, give it a toss, stick it right back in the pan, stick it right back in the oven for another four minutes. You're going to do that at four minutes, eight minutes, 12 minutes, and then hopefully at 16 minutes it should be done. You want to be careful when you do this because this can get hot. stick it right back in that same pan then stick it right back in the oven for another four minutes watch the lid we'll have hot liquid on it back in the oven for four more minutes all right, so once your shrimp has cooked for about 16 minutes and you've been tossing it all that time, a final step that you want to do is you now want to drain off most of the excess fluid, leaving behind only the shrimp. And I want to try to do that without making a mess. See how our shrimp has that golden color? And then you're going to put this back in the oven again for another uh, four minutes. We're getting closer to being done though, and this is going to be really, really good. One other thing, if you let this juice cool down, you can actually stick it in a mason jar with a lid on it and stick it in the refrigerator and use it again. As long as you use it and probably within a week, it will be fine to reuse again. And I do that a lot. All right, so I just took my rice out of the microwave. Let me tell you the secret for making rice in the microwave. I use about one and a half to two cups of water in a bowl. I stick it in the microwave on high with just the water for five minutes. I take it out. I put about one cup of rice in the water. Instead of putting it on in the microwave on high again, Reduce the power level down to 50% for about 15 minutes. You see, you get perfect rice every time. So people that like dog me because I cook my rice in a microwave, it's because I know how to cook rice in a microwave. So there you go. We're almost done. 
We are finally done. Let me pour everything out of the oven. First thing you need, you're going to need your bok choy. Put rice on a plate, then follow it with a, the bok choy. Get some of these pieces that are on the bottom that are probably more brown than the others. Next up will be our shrimp. And there you have it. Now you could use kimchi. I actually didn't have any to be honest with you with the uh, cancer. I probably couldn't taste it anyways, but I got rice. I got the roasted bok choy and I have the shrimp cooked in our honey, uh, soy sauce, and oil. Great recipe, simple to make. That's how I make bok choy. One of the nice things about being single is I do not mind eating my own leftovers.